a leader of Hindutva organization Vishwa Hindu Parishad has said that Christians and Muslims are top enemies of Hindus. The Hindutva leader delivered a speech at a weapon worship event organized by VHP and Bajrang Dal in Jodhpur city in the Indian state of Rajasthan. He said that every Hindu home should have weapons. We possess gold, silver, electronics and other luxuries of life. But we can't spend a mere 150 to 200 rupees for weapons, he lamented. The Hindutva leader also praised Adolf Hitler in his speech. Today, Hindu dharma is in danger. We have to give one to one to one to one. And the second one is the first one. This is the first one. This is the name of the church of the church. The name of the St. Paul Emmanuel Mission School. This is the name of the staff. This is the name of the staff. गरीबों में जाकर धर्मांतरण का काम करते हैं। भारत के अंदर मदर टेरेसा ने हजारों लोगों को धर्मांतरित करके ईसाई बना दिया। भारत के अंदर तीन लाख इनके पादरी हैं, सिस्टम हैं, सिस्टर हैं, मदर हैं, फादर हैं। ये घूम-घूम करके धर्मांतरित करते हैं। पहला दुश्मन कौन है? ईसाईयत। दूसरा मुसलमान। इनका उद्देश्य है इसके लिए पाकिस्तान लड़के लेंगे हिंदुस्तान दारुल अरब से दारुल इस्लाम में बदलना है इसलिए गांव गांव में घूम घूम करके बच्चों को भड़काने का काम इनके मुल्ला मौलवी करते हैं हर हिंदू के घर में हथियार पहुंचे इसके लिए शस्त्र पूजन हर हिंदू के घर में हथियार होना चाहिए खोजने से क्या नहीं मिलता लोग कहते भाई साहब त्रिशूल से क्या होगा पिस्तौल दिलाओ तोप दिलाओ लड़ाई झगड़े में पिस्तौल तोप कभी भी काम आती नहीं है क्या काम आता है घर में रखा हुआ बढ़िया लट होता है ना है ना फावड़े का डंडा देखा है गैती का डंडा देखा है हिटलर नाम सुना हिटलर का जर्मनी का शासक हिटलर वो कहता था कि दुनिया में सर्वश्रेष्ठ जाति यदि कोई है तो वो है हिंदू और दूसरे नंबर पर कोई है तो वो है जर्मन इसलिए वो अपनी महिलाओं को भारत में भेजता था किस लिए तुम हिंदुओं से गर्व धारण करके आओ ताकि हमारे यहाँ भी वीर चरित्रवान श्रेष्ठ ऐसे योद्धा पैदा हो सके ऐसा हिटलर कहता था तो हम सब लोग ऐसे पुण्य भूमि में पैदा हुए ये हमारे ऊपर भगवान की असीम अनुकंपा है असीम अनुकंपा है इंडिया स्ट्रेडिट नेशनल इन्वेस्टिगेशन एजेंसी कॉन्टिन्यूड इट्स रेड इन द टेरिटरी टुडे The NIA sleuths along with Indian police and paramilitary personnel raided multiple locations in the territory, subjecting the residents to severe harassment. The NIA had carried out searches at 14 locations in different areas of Kulgam, Pulwama, Islamabad, Baramulla and Jammu districts of the occupied territory. The agency had seized various materials such as digital devices, SIM cards and digital storage devices from the local residents. Authorities attached at least 20 more properties of the Jamaat-e-Islami of the territory today. These properties were attached in different districts of the Kashmir Valley on the recommendations of New Delhi Control State Investigation Agency. The move is aimed at victimizing the organization for its role in the Kashmiri's ongoing freedom movement. Senior leader of the all-party Suryat Conference, Ghulam Ahmed Gulzar, has deplored that RSS-backed Narendra Modi-led fascist Indian government has waged a full-fledged war against the people of the occupied Kashmir to suppress their just struggle for securing their internationally recognized right to self-determination. Ghulam Ahmed Gulzar, in a statement issued in Srinagar, said that besides over 1 million troops, India is using its administration, parliament, probe agencies, investigation agencies, communal media and biased judiciary to victimize the Kashmiris. India's dreaded National Investigation Agency has filed charge sheet against three persons in a false case to punish them for their affiliation with the ongoing freedom movement. The charge sheet was filed against Tanvir Ahmad Wani, Peer Arshad and Bashir Ahmad Sofi. These persons had been involved in trade across the line of control. The trade was suspended by Narendra Modi-led fascist Indian government in April 2019. The police in Bhojpur district of Indian state of Bihar arrested five persons on the charge of chanting pro-Pakistan slogans after winning a local badminton tournament. The arrested persons include Muhammad Tanbir Alam, 
Mohammad Arman, Kallu and Sonu. The action was taken against them after a video of the winning match was uploaded on social media where they were chanting Pakistan Zindabad slogans.